All right, in this recording, what I'm going to do is start working on texturing the rest of the office. Uh, you guys should have um, almost everything finished. You should have the walls over here, walls on the side, and the door you can carry over, uh, duplicate it, stretch it out, make sure it fits uh, the other door. Um, go ahead and open up the base here. I think the advanced students are, we're working on the window up here. I have images of that and advanced students, uh, if they have time, if they're bored, uh, the air conditioning unit with also this uh, trip line going out. Um, so what I'm going to do is just continue on just showing everyone how to UV map uh, the rest of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select, this will be the publica publication book. So I go ahead and go to Polygon to head automatic mapping real quick. There we go. Uh, typically, it's pretty easy like this. It's a pretty fast uh, way of doing this. I'm just going to squeeze this in, make it easy. Okay. So I've got it selected. I'm just going to go ahead and kick it out. UV snapshot, 2000, 2000, it's a little heavy, but uh, I'll go ahead and do that, call this office image, go ahead and call it book, so make sure it's JPEG, um, 2000 by 2000, okay, I'm going to go to my folder, see where that is. Type in book. JPEG. I should wear that one. Let's do that again. Instead of looking for a UV snapshot. 2000 to 2000. Some reason it's going into a weird folder, so we're gonna go to desktop, office images, All right, so it is going in there. So let's go into Photoshop, let's open that up, go to desktop, see if we can find office images here. Sorry, for that. All right, so there is our book. Got some old images up here. There's our old uh, box. Go ahead and close that up. So now we're going to open also our book. So we go office images. It's called Today Office, and we're going to look for a book, a heritage book. I'm just going to go ahead and open all these up. Hit open. Okay, so this is kind of blurry, not the greatest uh, photo. So we may use this, copy and paste that. So this one says it's uh, very blurry. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the top here. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, lasso tool, my polygonal lasso tool. Go ahead. Looks like a little bend from the optics of the camera. Let's do a couple grabs here. Okay. Go to Apple C, Command C. Go back to my original book. Apple V, Apple or Command T. I'm gonna hold down Shift, size it down.
Okay, let's hit uh, my command key or the, or the old Apple. So pull this down. Enter, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. It's going to be the bottom. But we can just move that over so we don't have to cover that section. No one's ever going to see the, the bottom of this book, so no worries. All right, so we're going to put the pages here. These are quite thin. Um, I may just make one thick one and then go into uh, Maya and stretch this out so we have a little bit better pixel quality. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this. Use my lasso tool again. That's a beautiful thumb. Go ahead and Command C, Command V, and Command T, so I can shift it, transform it. I'll just squeeze it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it to scale, and I'm not going to squeeze it down. I'm actually going to bring it up here. And so our two UVs right here, I'm going to actually bring those up in my so uh, we won't lose any of our quality here. All right, hit enter. So I did say I was going to not use the, the blurry one. I'm going to go ahead and use it anyways. Uh, you may not see that. But anyways, you can blame the photographer, which is me. And anyways, we definitely take the time to go back and rephoto shoot that. So, all right, so Apple V. Command T. Shift this down. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Just going to uh, bring that up here so we can actually play with it later. Okay. So we can adjust this, give us a little bit more breathing room here. Yeah, I think I have the side. I need to go ahead and open that up to the side. I don't think I open that up. Oops, that's a, not a heritage book. Look okay, at it. Okay, so here's the find here. So let's go ahead. Maybe I already have this open, I'm not sure, but I open it up again. And I'm going to put it over to the right now. And here. Shift this down. Okay. And all I'm doing is keeping it uh, in scale so we can move our objects around. Even our book is kind of skewed, so you can always adjust this later on. I'll go ahead and save this, save it as a PSD. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the same folder. Book PSD. I'm going to call it Book Final. So it's different from our Book JPEG. Save it. I'm going to go ahead and do a Save As. 
And save as a JPEG so it's nice and light. Does it have all those layers? Save it. Okay, so I go back into Maya. Go ahead and close that. Keep your EV up. Grab my book. Go back to rendering, not polygon. Uh, sign new material. And it's going to do a Lambert. Doesn't have a shiny texture or anything like a, the box. So we're going to go uh, over here to Lambert. You could delete the history if you want, so it's not so heavy, but uh, we'll go ahead and do, keep going forward. We're going to go File, Folder, Desktop. Then we're going to find this Office, Office Images, and our final book. Okay. So you can see, it is way off. Okay, We've got everything going crazy. All right, so we need to flip our UVs. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this big. Okay. So definitely wanna make sure you look, see what uh, issues you have. So it should probably take this into Photoshop and change it around. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fix it right here. W. Pull this out. And if we were really doing this, I would have taken off the image of the back side of this book, which is actually pretty similar. It has the same color scheme, but doesn't have the lettering on the front. Okay, so we're going to hit E, rotate that again. It's a silly now. And it's probably upside down for all I know. Should check that out real quick. But let's go ahead and flip it. Just going corner to corner, it's probably easier. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Alright, so luckily it's not upside down. All right, so we need to work on our pages here. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here. You can use Alt and right mouse uh, to get out in and out of here. So I'm going to grab these little guys. And, uh, pull them out of the way. Okay. Go ahead and grab that guy. What we'll have to do is kind of explore to see which one this, which who he is. All right, so it looks like he is this one right here. You can see uh, it's highlighted, so that one is going to fit here. And then we know this one right here, this face is going to be the page. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, rotate it. W and move it on up. Okay. And again, this one's blurry. Again, bad photographer. Do you have people in our class that are very good at the photography, but it is not me. Alright, so we hit shift. Okay, go ahead and bring this down. Go ahead and put them on top of each other because they're both going to be uh, sourcing the same page. So go ahead and hit E, rotate it, and put it uh, up in that area. Go ahead and All right, we're almost done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and Pull my corners here. Okay. So basically, we're just telling the UVs exactly what we want on our box. So it's basically, you're just putting wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper, onto this box. All right. So there we are. We're, we're done. So see, our blurred text is on there. 
text here. Oh, oh, oh. And that is on the wrong side. So we've got pages all over the place and on the wrong side. All right, so we need to fix that. Let's see how we're doing with our recording real quick. Let's see if I need to stop this. Okay, so I need to stop this. We're at 15 minutes. On the next one, I'll show you how to fix it.